Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is on pulmonary lecture number 10, arterial blood gas interpretation number 3, partially compensated. From my sticky note found on NursingCamp.com, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and uh, Nursing Camp. Alright, let's get into it and... What we've been talking about in the previous lecture, we talked about how um, ABG interpretation is um, done through this method, and it's the ABBAD method. And what that means, it's the best interpretation I find that's easiest to understand. And how this works is, is that, you know, the A stands for acidic, and then the B stands for basic or alkalinic. Then we have two sections here, they separate. Okay, you have your lungs, which is your respirations, which is the PaCO2. Then you have your lower area, which is your kidneys, which is your HCO3, or your metabolic area. Okay, these, these will regulate, you know, respirations will go up and down to regulate this ABG. We talked about in the previous lecture with uncompensated, where... The ABGs are meant to, the body's meant to kind of regulate and try to go back and forth. And so you're going to basically think, see things go back and forth like this. We talked about in the previous lecture how uncompensated is when there is something in the middle. Okay. And the pH is outside here. And when there's something in the middle, it's usually uncompensated. Now, please see my lecture about uncompensated ABGs. Now, what we're going to talk about now is partially compensated. Now, partially compensated is, is just like, uh, like uncompensated. It's partially compensated, but body is trying to um, fix itself, but it's not quite there yet. And partially compensated is pretty easy to figure out. And how, how it how you do it is that partially compensated is whenever you are circling something and everything is on the outside, like the circles are all on the outside, on the peripheral. If they're on the peripheral, everything's on the peripheral, this is all partially compensated. That's it. So if you have everything that's on the outside, it's partially compensated. There's nothing in the middle here. There's nothing in the middle here. So if it's on the outside, that's partially compensated ABG. That's it. So let's get into it. Um, let's do some interpretation. All right, so let's go. So 7.32. So we know that's outside, right? So it's less than seven. So we circle that one. Then we have a PaCO2 of 50. So we circle that one. And then a bicarb of 30. We circle that one. Well, look, everything is on it the outside. So it has to be partially compensated, something. But what is it? Well, this is acidosis, so it's partially compensated acidosis. Well, what kind? So the rule is, is we connect the two letters together, and we know that the second area, the PaCO2, is respiratory area. So it's partially compensated respiratory acidosis. That's it. Let's move to another one. The next one is the pH is 7.60. It's outside the box, right? So it's over here. So you circle there. And then the next thing is a PaCO2 is 50. So it's outside also. And then the bicarb. Oh, we just did this one. Oh, scrap, scrap that. Let's move to the next one. Um, 7.60. Yeah, is on the outside. So you circle that one. And then the PaCO2 is a 30. Okay, well, it's this way, and it's circle that one. All right, so let's see what the bicarb is. Well, the bicarb is 20, so it's less than 22. We circle that. Okay, look, they're all on the outside. But the rule is we connect the two together. So we know this is an alkalotic condition, alkalosis. Um, it's in the respiratory area that you're connecting. So it's respiratory alkalosis because everything is on the outside. Is partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. That's it. Let's move to the next one. All right, so you have a pH of 7.30. Okay, 
okay so it's over here yep so you circle that one then you have a PaCO2 of 32 okay well it's over here and then you have a bicarb of 19 oh that's also over here look at all peripheral all right so whatever it is it's an acidosis okay and then we connect the two that are alike this is the metabolic area metabolic acidosis because they're all on the periphery it's partially compensated metabolic acidosis all right let's move to the next one all right so we have a ph of 7.55 so we're over here okay then we have a pacO2 of 50 we're over here and a bicarb of 30 that's greater than 28 look all on the outside again we connect the two together and we know it's alkalosis. We know that this is the metabolic area, bicarb. And because they're all on the peripheral, it's partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. That's about it. So partially compensated metabolic, that's an advanced meta, uh, interpretation of an ABG. And the next one we're gonna do the last step, which is a, uh, a, a compensated blood gas. All right, so we've covered uncompensated, partially compensated, and regular basic interpretation. The next one we're going to do is, is the most advanced. It's called compensated blood gas. We'll see you next time.